All right, welcome back to the games. Thanks for joining us here. Elon Musk, revolutionary mind, pushing us towards a future that I love. Uh, there's a couple issues, though, that we're going to talk about where, where some astronomers aren't too happy about what's happening here. But the, the technology called Starlink, which essentially is going to end up being right now scheduled to be 10,000 satellites at low orbit, much, much lower orbit than traditional satellites uh last i think i think weekend this last weekend uh spacex launched an additional 60 up into the sky i think currently there's only 120 or so of these up there right now but it, he wants to create a lattice of uh satellites to link together to offer cheaper broadband across the world to everybody which is cool um, there's a couple conspiracy theories out there saying that it's going to be like the newest uh, um, Skynet, <laughs> uh, you know, because he's creating a, something else called Neuralink. And I'll post that on this video. And Neuralink is something completely different. That's a chip that goes into your brain that Elon Musk is working with many doctors out there on. And it's fascinating as well. Uh, that's on the channel if you want to check it out. But uh, we'll talk about Starlink in this episode and uh, Starlink and Neuralink together combined, a little bit scary. I know, conspiracy theories abound, but I'm not going to fall for that yet. I don't think Elon Musk has that type of evil living within him, but you never know. He only gets like two hours of sleep. If he gets cranky, he might be able to have like some backup program that he could just flip an on switch on it. And those people that have the chips in their brain all of a sudden are the part of the Elon Musk army. But I think that's just conspiracy talk. <laughs> let's look at Starlink mission. Uh, let's look at the uh, Falcon uh, 9 carrying the payload of 60 satellites to kind of start what's going to be a normal thing for SpaceX. Where they're literally going to continue to launch these low orbiting satellites to supply a new kind of latticed broadband uh, in which people can buy a monthly subscription into. It's not currently available to the public yet but interestingly enough uh spacex is using it already so let's let's watch it here oh god this is an hour long my apologies let's let's look at this though I, i'm kind of are designed to be used 10 times let's turn it around for a fifth guys i want to watch this launch here fourth landing that is super cool so stage two, I believe uh, we have. Did we? Oh, Pepsi did we lose? Oh, oh, oh! Hold um, on a second. Enter a Here we go. Launch, but today's launch represents some particularly notable. Here, T minus twelve, T minus eight, T minus four. I love, I love watching this, man. I want to see this live one day. I literally want to watch this live. I've never seen a rocket launch. Two minutes. All right, here we go. 47 seconds. Let's count it down here. This is exciting. LDUs, go for launch. I love this shit. Oh, this just happened over the weekend, dude. By the way, Black Dream. So it is. It's like a, it's like a day or two old. But I'm fascinated with this Starlink program that they're doing. These satellites. Right? Right, Fox? I mean, like, dude, it's a little bit scary, you know? He wants, he eventually, he, he signed up for, oh, sorry, hold on one second. I'll talk about it later. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Man, I wish my dad was alive to see this shit. Where the rocket boosters go back to the landing pads. Phenomenal. Like that's so crazy sci-fi. I love it. So there you see it. Falcon 9 with 60 additional satellites. For Starlink being launched. And then eventually what you see is like the boosters will separate and then land. Which, you know, many of the people watching know about the technologies here. 
Absolutely, Fox. We are T plus 55 seconds. I, I heard about that. I heard about that. A on time liftoff and a beautiful view of the Falcon 9 vehicle making its way to orbit. We are coming up in about 10 seconds here on max Q. That is the maximum aerodynamic pressure that the vehicle will see during ascent. We should be able to hear that call out. Vehicles experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. And there's that call out for max Q. Coming up next is a rapid succession of events starting off and very successful. I mean, the success rate, the success rate right now, these rockets is off the chain ridiculous. And the fact that you can reuse these boosters also ridiculous and makes space travel and uh, the, the, the actual thought of being a spacefaring kind of species that much more of a reality i love it i just love what elon's up to with this but anyway back to the point here 62 satellites in total uh in addition to i think the 60 being put up here um they're, they're talking about the satellites previously where three of the 60 are aren't in good shape uh but let's look at the starlink site and here's what we are talking about where essentially uh, this program being part of, you know, uh, Elon's large portfolio of projects, Starlink um, does something very unique, which is to take satellites uh, that are basically wired in together. You know, they communicate with one another and they're continually going uh, around two different types of orbits in a net pattern. Uh, that they are actually programmed to do this so that essentially when you're connecting to these satellites, it finds the quickest way to get to you from the satellites uh, when you when you hook in. It's always giving you the fastest connection. Uh, and hopefully this is offered to us at a at a cheap price. I would love it. I would I would absolutely love it. And here you can see right here. Now, the old the old Starlink site used to have this like rotating and you could see. Uh, this the satellites and what they intend to do uh, right now there's only a few there's only a little over a hundred but there will eventually be thousands upon thousands and it was interesting to read in this article here that uh, that this could pose a threat to astronomists that these things are very bright in the sky <laughs> and that astronomers are a little bit upset about the amount of of satellites that want to be put up there by Elon Musk uh, that he's, I think, applied for 10,000 of these and wants an additional 20, like for a total of somewhere around 30,000 of these. The orbit is really interesting when you look at this page to see that like traditionally satellites of old uh, orbited at a thousand kilometers plus, uh, which also is, you know, creates this junk this this junkyard of sorts out there in this debris field, which is horrible for any future uh, possibility of, of of exploration, because you've got to watch out. You get like a small screw or a small nut that like flies off of these satellites, and you're creating these uh, hypersonic uh, projectiles that can go through through a spaceship and create some havoc. So, you know, how they're going to clean that up, I'm not sure. But the, but these new um, satellites that Elon Musk is working on is so interesting to see that when these things get to their end of their life cycle, uh, they will literally, they are programmed to orbit out and out of the, like, just out. And if, they, if they're damaged, they're programmed to actually come into the atmosphere and burn up. So I thought that was really interesting because essentially the technology is a clean technology. It's I don't want to say environmentally friendly, but space friendly technology. Like, you know, like I, I, I that is fascinating to me. Like, that's fascinating to me that they're thinking that Elon's thinking. And why? Why wouldn't he? The guy is like revolutionary. But it's a great site. It explains a lot about the Starlink program. Uh, the satellites. um, don't weigh traditionally as much as as the older satellites as well. Not quite sure. I think you can launch uh, a few more that way uh, because they weigh less. So that's also really very cool. And uh, I'm really looking forward to the future, although it does kind of scare me to think we're creating like these this net of satellites above us. You know, it, it, there's a little there's a there's a bit of a scare factor there. But anyway, 
pretty interesting story. Starlink, tell us what you think down in the comments below. And thanks for watching here. I will see you guys on the next vid.